for you. I think uh, maybe coming out of the factory, it was uh, probably my clumsiness. Oh. But uh, I went to the emergency room last night, and I've got to tell you, I was really impressed, too, with the health care workers there. Did you help anyone? And we're back. What, where to cut? It's I know my mother used to tell me, well, you've got to have it be, if it's going to be below your knee, it should be above the heavier part of your leg. It's, there's no really set rule, and that's the problem, is that we're not really literate in skirts yet. We mm -hmm. don't know. Uh -huh. But we'll learn. Okay. Well, we've got a lot to learn with. These are really good looks, and I like the longer length, too, because I think it's slimming. Oh, it's very slimming. It can be. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Really. Appreciate this. Thank you, models. You look wonderful. Next, it's not too late for some fresh ideas in summer. Away from home for these two weeks, I'm Katie Couric here with Dick Ember. Coming up, Israel's first Olympic medalist. Yeah, Yael Arad won a silver in women's judo 20 years after the tragedy of the Munich massacre. And we'll have more water polo, the U.S. team, and a fight for survival against Germany. We'll take you back to the Monchewik swimming pool in just a few minutes. Furry design, the brass and glass tables, add a sophisticated touch, Carson's some high point. And keep a warm feeling alive. With Munich 72 could have a different ending. Anouk Spitzer, thank you very much for sharing your story with us. Thank you. We'll be back with more right after these messages. Cuban heavyweight Felix Savona, winner in the ring in Badalona. The Cubans having a terrific tournament. 11 of their 12 boxers still have a shot at a medal. A tribute to their coach of 20 years now, Alcida Segarra. Really heartbreaking. And one can only wonder if another man's heart is breaking tonight, that being boxer Eric Griffin, two-time world champion. Four years ago, at the 88 box offs, he tests positive for marijuana. He overcomes his devastation at not making the Olympic team, his disappointment in himself. He comes back, spends four more years of his life training, only to win a gold medal, but today, perhaps, only to have it taken away. Kind of amateur boxing. Every punch is visible and straight up the middle. Much as we want Oscar to win, he has a pro style. I think the odds are a little against him. That gold medal bout may be a very difficult one for Oscar De La Hoya. Certainly uh, it is. Almost dropped you. Yeah. Here, here's a towel. There you go. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you wondering, I know you guys are, I did eat. I must have gained at least 10 pounds, I'll oh, tell you. Oh, yeah. it, is, it is possible to entertain an entirely different scale in a right. gracious, I can't believe it. In a I gracious can't believe manner. I'm going to give you one of my favorite oh. recipes. Potato Let chips. Me, no, no. Zach Marilyn Monroe remembered. But first, this is today on NBC. <laughs> of Saddam Hussein swimming in the Tigris yeah. and, and riding his motorboat. Yeah, certainly did. And you know, it's interesting. Those pictures come from the Iraqi news service, so we're not exactly certain where they come from. And there is some suspicion. Uh, among those people that they're not necessarily taken at the moment, that they have what amounts to a, a, a file of pictures that they can use of Saddam Hussein thumbing. Plus the weekend forecast and why things are looking a bit different. And Lori's Rock Video is next. Plus the weekend forecast and why things are looking a bit different. And Lori's Rock Video is next. Sergio Reyes, victorious tonight. The USA team is 6-0, and and we have three definite medal contenders yet to box. We have Tim Austin, Oscar De La Hoya, and super heavyweight Larry Donald. In fact, this team has a fighting chance on paper at this moment, early in the tournament, to threaten the great 1976 mm -hmm. team in the hierarchy of American Olympic boxing teams. That was the team, you'll remember, that had Sugar Ray Leonard and the Spinks brothers and Leo Randolph and Howard Davis five gold medalists in a competition that included the Cubans and the Soviets at that time. And this is the first competition since 1976 when all of those nations will be here. So a lot to look forward to. Well, the boxing. You know, <laughs> well, you know, that, that if you just think about it, it makes a lot of sense, but actually watching the entire story, you kind of cringe a little, don't you? <laughs> it, 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 it reminded me of what we had for dinner last night in, in this very room. <laughs> Don't say we. <laughs> <laughs> you avoided it. Yeah. It's pretty ugly. That's the news for the half hour. From New York, this is World News Now. Got the music. Oh, airship. Bruce Springsteen, this is great. <laughs> I know you probably picked it, right? Well, it's loud. You know, I think it's loud. But <laughs> it's You're such a fun... Baby Ellen. That was that. That's well, dangerous. A couple of girls have been around. Boy, these are pretty begonias. 
I must say, well, look at how pretty these are. What's their blooming season? Well, these are, are going to be probably up through September. What we're going to do is put, oh, about maybe two, three feet apart, each begonia. We'll start by making a hole. It's always good, no matter how rich your soil is, to try and enrich it a little bit more with some kind of organic material. Mm -hmm. And this Potting is... Potting soil? No, this is peat moss. Peat moss, what's peat the difference? Well, the difference is that this is a much more... Uh, this breaks down into the soil, and this helps to just give more nutrition. nutrition. Okay. Next step is we want to... Each hole, before we, before we put the plant in, we want to take a level teaspoon full of fertilizer, like this, in your case, Miracle Grow, or you just yeah, absolutely. Okay. And we then water the hole. Okay? Huh. All done right. and done. Right. The guy told me they're good for, for shade. Oh, perfect. But I don't know the names. Oh, yet. well, let's take a look. Okay. Oh, oh this is this is Terranius, or commonly called... Hi. Would you like to help us? Yeah. Okay. Here, you need to dig a little hole right here. And yeah. Mommy's going to give put a little here. plant. Put this one in, Cody. Putting mommy make a little yeah, hole and you put it right in, okay? Yeah, and we'll plant it up. Okay. There you go. Right, right where right mommy right made right the hole. Put See? down your little toy there, whatever that is. Good! Perfect. You did it! Very good! Yay! Come Yay, Cody. Now. Okay, there we go. I love it. It's so unusual. Isn't that pretty now? Very different. Well, at least let me pay for the things. You can take it out of my yep. pay and Rosa, talk to you. Rosa, we'll worry about all that kind of stuff later, okay? But there is something that I do want to say now. You know what I was thinking when I was carrying you up the stairs out there? Later, okay? But there is something that I do want to say now. You know what I was thinking when I was carrying you up the stairs out there? Here I break. Top ten for the fall. Right up there. We have real uh, members from our audience modeling instead of models. And where do we pick these? Uh, these from right yesterday? Out of the audience. Right out of yes, the audience. Right out of the audience. Yesterday's audience? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are you here? So we're going to start with Annette Bryant. Uh, we think is a terrific uh, fashion segment for you. We're going to take a look at the fall season. And incidentally, Christine Kunzelman, as you probably know, is a representative of the manufacturers shown here today. But what do we have? The top ten countdown, the ten fashion essentials that you'll need this fall, right? Never. Number I suppose it doesn't have a blow. What you need now is some work. Oh, her husband, I'm sure you've seen some of the models in uh, baseball uniforms, but today the models are going to be dressed up. Yes, we do. We uh, hope to raise 50 A sneak preview. Yes. Okay, would you like to introduce our yes, first I will. model? Yes, I will. Our first couple is Brett and Evelyn. Thank you, Earl. All right, thank you. And Gina, you're a good fashion commentator. We can you. have you all back. Thank you. Next, everything you need to get ready for a healthy baby. <laughs> what you just said. Could you please repeat that? <laughs> That's a goodie. And make it make them say it over again. The other person... And then sometimes when they hear themselves say it again, they're kind of well, shocked. Right? Chain controlling. You, you, who did that? He did. I didn't do it. And you develop independent. I mean, that's the <laughs> She's it's, freaking out. It's Miss Style. <laughs> Um, and, and how does the network treat you over there at ABC? Shameless butt kissing. I can't stand it. <laughs> it's, She's freaking out. It's Miss Style. <laughs> um, oh, 
<laughs> what a, In a split second, too. You're really quite the loon. Thank you. Uh, Not exactly dealing with a chimp here. Oh, I know that. Um, what do we do here? Let's do... Compared to your life, this movie seems normal now. Okay, do we need to explain what's going on here? Um, well, I guess briefly it's... Uh, oh, we'll find out a little bit more about this right after this Sarah, Sarah Jessica Parker, right? <laughs> Good to see you again. Good to see you. And where'd you come in from, New York? Came in from New York, yes. Are you looking for the show and, yeah. and an Emmy Award? Well, we didn't win an Emmy. I, uh, I borrowed it from someone. Whose <laughs> <laughs> Emmy is that? Uh, I ripped it off from Candace Bergen. Oh. We gave it. <laughs> All right, and finally. <laughs> and uh, this is me with the, uh, the funniest man in television. <laughs> And this is you, Barbara. <laughs> okay. Mary Connolly, one of our uh, segment producers. Hi, Mary, how are you? Did you have a nice trip in California? I had a terrific trip. How many times have we gone out there? Uh, I've been out, I think, four times. Four times, okay. But this one was extra good, wasn't it? It sure was. Uh, tell us about your experiences via the miracle of uh, photographic uh, whatever these are. Well, this was our trip out, on, the, on the, our flight out, and uh -huh. you were kind enough to uh, move me up to first class. Uh, he seems like a, your an outgoing child there. Mm -hmm. or, or, he's very funny. Or sell insurance, but he's, he's not outgoing. Or something. <laughs> I, have, I have to tell you a story. I love this story. I was talking to one of my brothers the other night on the phone. It was a three-year-old. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Your chicken is barking. Your chicken is barking at me. So this is hereditary within the family. Apparently. The <laughs> so, yeah, the smart. We're fighting against that smart. Again, I confirm my appointment with Dr. Ben Price for today. Okay. Thank you. I will be there. Good morning, you beautiful redheaded. Oh. <laughs> Next thing you know, she'll be using words like uh, hyperbole. That's the one. <laughs> I'll be right back. Hey, Doc, keep my spot. Yeah. He's dirt. <laughs> We're getting off this boat. He's going to hold us hostage till our dried, bleached bones are found in these borrowed swimsuits. Forensic studies will show, incidentally, that at the time of death, mine was riding up on me. Damn, wasn't it? Prepare. <laughs> 